was part of a church in Hyderabad where, you know, uh, they call it a prosperity and healing church. And for everything, it is like what you reap, what you sow. You, you, you reap what you sow. So they would say like, you know, you put money and you'll reap it. So one day they said, M you stretch out your arm and say, money, come to me. I was shell shocked. And, you know, this... So since then, I've been very wary of coming for healing and delivery conferences. And I said, no, 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 no. But then uh, something happened uh, last year. My mom fell sick. She was, uh, she was on her deathbed. By then, I was totally, totally broken because my only link to love uh, was my mother. Not that I got much. I, uh, I'm the eldest in my family. And... Um, uh, I'm also the eldest grandchild and my dad was not there when uh, uh, after my mother conceived my dad left and probably you know when I was uh, sharing what happened f with me from 0 to 12 probably one of the things was that they wanted a boy because my dad uh, at the time of my reception went on to stage and said I prayed for a boy and I don't know what she prayed for but we had a girl so Rejection started even in my mother's womb. Let me tell you, today I'm 52, and till six months ago I was rejected. Rejected by my father. I don't know about my mother. Yes, at one particular time she rejected me, but then she, when she had a stroke she couldn't talk, but she would just hold my hand and cry. Maybe she felt bad about it. My brother rejected me. My sister-in-law rejected me. Everyone around me rejected me. And I cannot tell you how deep uh, that feeling of rejection and hurt and not knowing, you know, why people are rejecting me. And I, at one point, I just broke down, you know, and I was like, my dad was always like, I'll give you this, I'll give you that. I'm like, dad, I don't want your money. I want, I want your love. I want, I want a hug. I'm a very huggy buggy person. And I really need to be hugged, you know. And my, my parents never hugged me. My parents never told me that they love me. And I was craving for love. It was around this, when I was a kid, probably I was craving for that love. And then I went into multiple sexual abuse. Very, very intense sexual abuse from the age of 9 till the age of 18 or 19. And uh, I didn't know what was happening with me, why it was happening. I couldn't take it to my mom, I couldn't take it to my dad. I just bottled up everything inside me. And the rest of the story is that, you know, when you're possessed by that spirit of lust, then one thing follows another thing. And so when I was sharing, when, when I was writing down everything, I suddenly everything like a puzzle fell into place. Okay, Lord, this is what's happened with me. You know, and I went into ministry time. And I cannot tell you what a feeling of burden has been lifted off my shoulders. I had to have two abortions and the best part was they asked me to name those two children. I called them Alex and Magdalena, you know, because Magdalena was the one who was close to Jesus. And I just thank God for this, you know. I never thought, I probably thought about them, I probably wanted them with me, but I never thought of giving them a name. But now I have two children in heaven, you know, and I thank God for that. I thank God that, you know, that two kids over there, up there, even though I rejected them, he accepted. And I also want to share, you know, this one. There were everything that was written for me was appropriate, bang on point. But there's this one card. I don't know who wrote this for me, but I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You drew a, you drew a sieve over here and you said, and the Lord spoke to the fish and it vomited Jonah out upon the dry land. You know, I, I was wondering why the sieve, why the sieve? And then it suddenly struck me, I'm an intensely positive person. I hate negativity within, you know, to reside within me because I, I cannot deal with negativity. And so what I realized was, this, this sieve was catching all the negative thoughts, you know, that were going on within my heart. And what was coming out was only positivity. And after ministry, 
it felt like I was spit out by the whale. And I praise God and I thank him from the bottom of my heart because he loves me, he chose me and he redeemed me by his blood. And I will forever and ever be grateful to him. I thank you, Lord. Thank you.